Internet Explorer window opening um, problems. Um, I'm using Cam Studio Recorder, which is a free uh, open source uh, software to uh, do screen capture. And that's it right there. I'm just going to minimize it. Now, uh, my computer is, I'm just going to right click my computer here. Right click is uh, blue, I think left click is red. Choose properties. I'm winning, uh, running Windows 7 Ultimate, and I'm not sure what operating system you are on or whether that'll make a big difference. And for Internet Explorer, I'm just going to click it up here, which I don't use actually, but I put shortcuts all over for this uh, session. Uh, just go up to the uh, button there down to about Internet Explorer. I'm running 9, and I think that you are running 8. You may want to update to 9 if you're running 8. Never know, maybe that could uh, solve some of your issues. So I'm going to close that uh, here. Now I'm also not sure where you uh, access Internet Explorer from, so I sort of dropped them wherever the likely places would be. One would be on the desktop here with the shortcut here. Another would be on the taskbar with a, a button there. Um, another one might be from up here if you have something pinned to your uh, start menu. And the other place would be under all programs and it should be listed somewhere here like here. I've got a couple 64-bit and 32-bit and, uh, versions running there. So uh, what you'd like to do is find the spot where you most likely uh, open Internet Explorer from and right click it. So if it's on the desktop here, we'll right click. And then I'm going to left click properties. And look down here, it says run in normal window. And you can just uh, left click that. And you have three choices, minimized, which will put that icon down here and nothing on your desktop. Uh, maximized, which would open full screen, and normal window, which should remember the last state, the last size of the window when you closed it. So if it was maximized, it would return maximized, and if it was a small um, square, it should return to a square. If it was a rectangular shape, it should return to that. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm just going to leave that on normal window. And uh, I'm going to double click Internet Explorer and you see it's I've got a rectangular shape and that's the last shape that uh, I um, had closed it on. And if I resize this, see I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to close it here. Then when I click on this running set to run normal, you see it remembers the last size. So if I uh, maximize this and then close it and uh, open Internet Explorer. See, it remembers the last size. And that's the way that would work. If that's not working for you from for some reason, then what you can do is right-click and um, left-click Properties and just go down to Run and tab that down and select Maximize. Go down here and click OK and then when you clickety-click it's going to start maximized. Now what I'm going to do is hit the little square, the restore square, so I can size it down a little bit. And I'm just going to change the size here. I'll make it a little square. We'll position it in the center and I'll close it here now. Now watch what happens. See it didn't remember the last state it was in. It, it goes to maximized all the time because that's what I've set right there always maximized the thing to remember is that if you if you have this set to maximize and you click down here um, I'm just going to resize this and close it and then start it again now you see now this one is starting uh, in, a, in the smaller size and that's because this shortcut is set to maximized, but this shortcut, you have to right click the icon and then move up to Internet Explorer and right click a second time and then left click on properties. That's set to normal window, which remembers the last known state. So, uh, and the same thing is going to apply here and the same thing is going to apply in here. They're, they could all have a different um, uh, setting and, and it'll and wherever you click, it's going to be dependent on what the setting is where you click it, wherever that shortcut is. With a couple exceptions, like if you set this to run minimized, and this is 
is uh, set a different way because uh, um, it sort of nests the windows uh, over Internet Explorer here then it can get a little bit funky and and uh, and these will sort of um, uh, I forget which one mimics one but you're not going to get this one mac maximizing this one normal window normally and uh, so that's uh, how to fix it other suggestions try uh, Google Chrome or uh, Firefox I find uh, Google Google Chrome is a little bit more stable than Firefox uh, Firefox is actually maybe a little easier to work with but uh, and to get Chrome you just start uh, Internet Explorer you notice it's starting small here I'll start it over here because I've set this shortcut to maximized and you would just type in Google Chrome um, download and hit enter there we go Google Chrome and you just go here and download Chrome and then that would download it install it and open it for you and give it a try it's a neat browser it's a little bit lighter weight than Internet Explorer not prone to so many issues so there you go that's the end of that another thing I can suggest if you ever need remote help on your computer is try team viewer which is uh, a free program that allows uh, remote uh, desktop connections to your computer without using remote desktop which can be have some issues getting through firewalls and and uh, especially if they're on routers and stuff or even software firewalls on your operating system yeah it's totally free businesses pay uh, consumers can use it for free and that's a handy thing to have around if you ever need remote support where you can work together with someone. Anyway, that's the end of that session. So I'm just going to stop this and we'll get it to you some way. Goodbye for now.